Hi guys, uh, so it is Monday today and I've just been, I've woken up, had a shower and I've just been watching the news, or not the news, today and um, I just want to show you Penny. She's so tired and she's just hanging out in her crate. What's wrong girl? You're very tired today. I also could not make the bed today. What are you doing? I bet you're all oh, you're so warm in there. So nice and warm. Kitty cat. Both of you still in bed. I think you've got the right idea, girls. So I'm gonna go and put all the footage from yesterday onto Kim. I can't talk properly with these in. But yeah, I'm gonna go edit yesterday's vlog and um, hopefully it wakes me up a bit. I'm really tired this morning. I feel like I haven't recovered from gardening. <laughs> Breakfast today, eggs on toast with a side of Dalmatian and a cup of tea. Dean's surfaced for lunch time. Here we go. I've got my lunch. Oh, right Dean, you can't eat all of them. No, like, that's ridiculous. That's like one sausage roll. No, that's unnecessary. You do not need to eat that many. Well, what do we got here? What was this? Something special for... Look at her licking her lips. She's that. literally licking her lips. I hope yeah. I caught that. Look at that bone for Pendo. <laughs> Pendo. Look at her, ready? Just straight up like this, just... <laughs> What's this about, huh? What's this all about? Oh. Alright, shake, like, shake. Oh. 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 See ya. Bye. <laughs> oh, you're so lucky, aren't you? Getting a good bone. Are you just going to put them in the microwave? Oh, you want them in the oven? Yeah, well, I was going to put them in the oven. Oh. We, we've got the power. I would deck that in two seconds. Of course you would. So you want some tomatoes for lunch? Yes. Okay. Oh, will you have them all no, then? No, no. Oh, it's fine. I've got me self something else. What do you got? Just dip it into the, the rations. Oh, the, oh yeah. Oriental. Oriental. Okay. okay, video is uploading. It says it's got like two and a half hours to upload so <laughs> cool and we have lunch these look good are they yum yeah thanks dean's mum <coughs> and me why are you well, i heated them up <laughs> you put them on an oven yeah, tray well. in the oven <laughs> okay that's not worthy of a thanks all right thank you right. you did well hun okay bye <laughs> yeah. he, I'm, just, I'm just gonna hold the camera here. He, See ya. Dean hates eating on camera so much. Oh, I just I was gonna do it then what? <laughs> just just put that down. Okay, bye. Hey guys, it is 3.48. Um my video went live just after three. I actually just recorded like 15 minutes worth of footage and uh, I knew straight away, I was just like, I said at the end, I'm like, I don't think that this recorded. So I'm doing another bit of recording. That video took so long to edit and export and upload. In the meantime, I actually edited a garden tour that I filmed in November. I had the footage there and I'm like, oh, I'll just edit it and then, you know, like I'll, I'll put it up because then you guys can see how much my garden changes season to season and it might give you some idea, ideas and it's content anyway for those who are staying at home and whatnot. This morning, I watched today and um, they cleared up that, you know, like the state isn't basically on lockdown, although Queensland closed their borders. Um, but it's basically just a shutdown of things like gyms, clubs, bars, <laughs> organizations, cinemas, cafes, and yeah. It's, which makes me glad because I know so many people would have just gone into panic mode 
and this morning gone out early even I was gonna go out early and just go get things that we needed and now I don't have to do that which is great I think there is just a sense of panic when you can't have or you don't have access to things that you want or need or you know things to keep you busy like I was gonna go get gardening things so then I could have something to do over the next week or whatever thankfully don't have to do that <laughs> oh that's what I, was, I mentioned as well when I was editing the gardening vlog Penny was like really annoying you won't see most of it because I edited it out we used to have like a fence there um, that fenced her off from going down the side because it was so wet and just like her behavior and everything she has matured so much in um, like four months or so like so much even like from every time we've taken her camping she has grown up so much like sure she was sitting on me before and wanting to play but now she's on her bed playing with a toy by herself she's a beautiful dog but she's just growing into such a beautiful sweet good-natured dog and it just makes me so happy it's just you know like watching that video when we picked her up and I was going to get the other one, but then it was sick and it wouldn't have been able to travel home. Well, it would have, but it wouldn't have been good for it. But then like Penny picked me, like she was there, she came up to me and she was just like, hey, hey mom. Hello. <laughs> you like this one? Did you want to get this one instead? I reckon those two are more playful. I just feel bad for this one. <laughs> Yo. You know, that makes me so happy. It just makes me realize you should see it right now. <laughs> like I ended up with the right dog. Look at her just sitting on her bed. You are so cute dog. I just love you so much. And like, I don't let her have cuddles with me on the couch very much, but we had a nice cuddle before. And oh, I asked you guys about watching um, last night's episode of Maths. You guys were like, no, nope. 69% of you said, don't waste your time watching it. However, when the video was like near the end of uploading, the replay was on TV. And I'm like, oh, I'll just watch it. And I wasn't paying full attention to it. I watched some of it and I was just like, I'm glad I knew not to hype it up in my mind. Like it was just, does that make sense? Like it wasn't gonna be as good as what I thought it would be. <laughs> anyway, watch that. Um, and yeah, we just had a little cuddle on the couch. Dogs really do change your life and oh, I'm just, I'm so grateful to have Penny like don't get me wrong like I love Coco to pieces but like having a dog is just it's really changed my life and you have to be so much more involved with the dog and like Coco literally just she's just back room all day see ya she usually probably comes out before now although she did come out at lunchtime but yeah she usually comes out in the afternoon so I don't see her all day <laughs> Um, but I did upload a photo on my Instagram like this is just the photo of our entryway over the past week I've just been like cleaning the house a little bit, you know getting into things and um, Just changing the house and the styling and decor a bit around it just helps freshen it up and like I would love to have endless amounts of money to like continually redecorate my house and change things up but everything is like in such good nick i don't i don't need to even our bedding i've had that for nearly it'll be three years in may although i will say like it's all from adairs and the the sheets are still fine like there's a few scratches from coco the quilt cover it actually a few of the buttons tore off and then it actually tore a bit of the material in the wash one time and that was probably like maybe a year ago or so and I went in and showed them and they just replaced it with proof of purchase like you really can't get better than that and it was like two years old nearly I would really love to change up the um where is it the cushions but these ones I really love these ones they're from Adairs they're like on sale usually like $50 or $40 each or something like that. They're like the nice vintage washed linen and they're all squishy and everything like that. So, and these ones, I believe, I, if I look back on photos, I think that they've faded quite a bit and some of them 
well that's got like a little thing in there some of them have like pools in them but because I have been cleaning so much lately and this is not sponsored I just want to recommend this product to you guys again because it's honestly life-changing in the cleaning game like I really do honestly love it without a doubt and I talked about it in my bathroom declutter but it's co-cleaning I've cleaned my bathroom kitchen laundry everything with it and it just is amazing like if there's a bit of a stain you just put it on there and leave it for a little bit a few minutes like I'll show you my um kitchen stove it isn't like perfectly clean so don't mind that but these bits here I don't know if you guys have them on your stove but they get so stained and I've tried to clean them before I wish I had a before photo to show you um but they were all so stained and this is probably the best looking one that one came up really good actually and this one was the worst but like I just sprayed the took it all apart and sprayed the co stuff on there and um, they it came up and left it on for a few minutes and they came up so well I was just so impressed and even the oven door I've used mirror like glass cleaning product on here and spent 10 times as long as I did with the co-product and it didn't look this good like I mean it's been a few days now so there's a few little smudges but I couldn't believe it it's just absolutely amazing so this is the product it's co and you get these microfiber cloths with it I got it in like a little kit so yeah and it's just comes in a squirty bottle it's really good now I do have a link uh, which I can share with you, which gets $10 off your order. And full disclosure, it gives me $10 to spend at the Co website. I can't spend it anywhere else. If you want to use it, you can. If not, just go to the Co website. Just figure like a lot of people might be home and wanting to clean things. And that product is seriously a game changer for me. And I wanted to share that with you again. But I will show you like my little hallway tour because when we first moved in here, I was going to do like a hallway makeover thing and that never happened. So I'll just show you a little. Okay, so this is the outside of the entryway. These I got from Early Settler. They are plastic. They get cobwebs on them and they do discolor in the sun. So I think when we got them, they were like white and green um, and they're just in Kmart pots. If you don't have them in like a little cove like this, like I like them better like outside of the house, but they kept falling over. So yeah. And then I have this welcome mat from Targets. And then you go in and see the Dalmatian. So upon entry, we have this beautiful print from Early Settler. It's massive, it's in this big frame. I think that I had to go on the stud because it was so heavy. Look at this dog. You're a good girl, aren't you? And then we have this little print over here. This one I kind of just chucked up there and left. Like, I, I, I don't know, it's nothing special, but the, the frames from Spotlight and the artwork is from i just i can't remember the name but i have a few pieces from them but it's like it's nothing special anyway uh and then over here this is from my instagram photo so we have the mirror from spotlight the table from ebay the candle was a present but it's salt and pepper and then vase from Target a few years ago. And then if you watch my Vlogmas, you would have seen that I got these from Freedom in December. I think that they're dehydrated hydrangeas, which I just love the muted color. I think that just like the white on white looks so nice. I did have a different vase with different flowers there before, but I really am enjoying the simplicity of that. Like I'm just, I just want everything to be clutter free now. So I know it's not everyone's taste, but um, the, the table is quite Hamptons and yeah. Then we actually did install these lights. These are from Freedom. I don't think that they have them anymore, but they are just drop pendant lights and we have the down lights as well. Um, but if you can see inside, they have this special thing around the bowl this special glass thing and it actually creates beautiful shapes on the walls uh, you can see more at night time if I remember I'll show you and um, yeah these just added so much to the hallway adding them I love them I think they're gorgeous and then further on down we have uh, four wedding photos. I wanted to put up some wedding photos, but I didn't want them to be too like in your face, like posy, if that makes sense. 
Um, so this is probably the most posy one that we have. And then this one is my grandmother putting me in my wedding dress, which I think is just so beautiful. I love just the texture of my dress and her hands. Like, I think that that is just a stunning photo. And then this one, it's a little bit dark, but I don't know, I just, I just love it. And then this one is probably one of my favorites of all of our wedding photos. Um, I think it's just stunning. Like, I mean, obviously I love all of these photos, but yeah, and I just chose some black and white to go with the theme of the house. And then over the other side, we have these two prints. Now these are nothing special to me. I just got them because they're on sale at Adairs. Uh, but we have a horse print in Amsterdam and I just have them in spotlight frames. Um, but this wall looked a bit bare without anything there. So I really just wanted something to go there. And then we just have like a, um, a cloak cupboard kind of thing. It's actually full of my clothes, so please don't judge me. But like, that's all it is. It's just like a shelf and then rail. So yeah, there's those. So that is the entry. You can, oh, you can kind of see the light pattern there on the roof. But yeah, that's the entryway. What you gonna do, Pen? You want you wanna go play fetch outside? All right, we'll go play outside for a bit. Hey, yes. Oh, you're a cutie, aren't you? You're a little cutie. Come on, come on, girl. So we just had dinner before and Dean is actually trying to repair his dad's ride on lawnmower with our next door neighbor. They had a crack at it the other night and then I think it got too late. So they're trying it again. Um, and then we've got tomorrow's lunches with the leftover pasta. I had Dean's pasta on cooking and I started editing this vlog and I forgot about it and it's probably really soggy and gross. <laughs> but he should have told me that he needed to take it to work so that I would have cooked it with the first <laughs> So maths is going to start in 15 minutes, but I was just editing today's vlog. But then it made me think like, oh, I shouldn't be vlogging like every day or like I need to like space out the content because I know like if I, you know, come back all like all of a sudden people, I don't know if I... It's, it's a funny thing. It's a funny balance, YouTube, because you can't all of a sudden just come back and upload every day. For some reason, people don't like it. Maybe I'll just upload this one, not tomorrow, but the next day, and then my garden tour Friday. I know some of you will be like, no, upload every day. <laughs> but I also don't wanna like overload either. It's so funny because I feel like a lot of people subscribed from Penny's video when we got Penny. And now when I upload, cause that video is done I don't even know how many views it's got on it. And then now when I upload, I actually lose subscribers. That wasn't happening before this, that certain video, you know, did really well. So I don't know, it's, it's a hard one because people subscribe because they might see a certain video and then you don't make getting a new puppy videos ever again. <laughs> um, and then, I don't know, some people get upset when I show too much of Penny but like she's part of my life as well. So it's hard to keep everyone happy. I don't know, I, I feel like I will do a little bit of makeup content, but I, I don't know, like my passion isn't with makeup anymore. Um, I forgot to mention, like I always do this, Quartz Beauty has 15% off 
every order over $40. So I'll have the link down below. It's just automatically calculated at checkout. So if you wanted to check out my makeup brushes and I'm gonna be getting some new lash styles really soon. Um, they should be coming tomorrow or the next day, which is really exciting. So I'll have to quality check them and count them. And then I have to take new images and put them on the website and um, I'll do a special with them as well. So if you wanna like try them all, I'll do like a little bundle. But yeah, hope you guys are doing well, staying safe, staying isolated as much as you can. It's crazy, like even today on, um, what is it, is it health? gov.au. Um, yesterday there were 1,098 cases and now there's 1,700 cases. So, I mean, it's not far from doubling, which is really scary. So please keep safe. Um, and not, not just for yourself, but just think of others. Think of the people like Dean's mum's husband who has no immune system. Like if he gets sick, there is a, a really good chance that he won't make it. Um, and even the elderly, those with no immune system, those with um, prone to getting pneumonia and, and things like that, like there's a good chance that they they won't make it through this illness. So not not just thinking of you like I might think, oh, well, you know, I'm healthy, I'm, I'm young and healthy, like I'll be fine. But that's why you stay home. <laughs> so you don't spread it to anyone else and the chances of getting it are low. Um, but you know, if you start to feel sick, go and get tested. Make sure that you do have it and then you are quarantined if you're okay, um, if you're not too bad. And then if you don't have it, then you know. So anyway, that's my little lecture for tonight, guys, but please take this seriously. Um, and yeah, I will see you next time.